To find the molecular geometry for the hydroxide ion, OH minus, we'll start with our Lewis structure here. So you can see it's an ion. We have brackets and this negative charge. But for the molecular geometry, we can pretty much ignore that. So we have an oxygen with a hydrogen, and we have these three lone pairs around the oxygen. Because we only have these two atoms, really there's only one way they can orient each other, and that's with a linear molecular geometry. But let's see what that'll look like and what these lone pairs here, what they'll do. So let's consider this our oxygen atom. We'll add the hydrogen atom, and you can see it's in a line. No matter how you look at it, it's a straight line with a bond angle of 180 degrees. And let's add those three lone pairs that we have on the oxygen. There's one lone pair, and you can see they go to the opposite side, it spreads out. We have another one. That's over here. It's all spread out as well, and we'll add the last one. And you can see we maintain this linear geometry. The oxygen has the three lone pairs, and they spread out as much as they can. And then we have our 180 degree bond angle between the oxygen and the hydrogen. So OH minus has a linear molecular geometry. When we have molecules that have more than two atoms, it gets a little bit more complicated. And we can use a chart like this here, where we look at the steric number, the number of things attached to the central atom. And you can learn more about that in my other video on valence shell electron pair repulsion theory. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry or shape for OH minus the hydroxide ion. Thanks for watching.